Snow Tracks is sponsored by Ski Do Snowmobiles, Yamaha Conquers Snow, and by FXR Racing Full Throttle Addiction. So for everyone who tunes into Snow Tracks, the reality is this is the start of our season. It's midway through our season, but we've just actually hit the snow. We're out here in Revelstoke and we're uh, coming out to ride with uh, Brock Hoyer and Randy Swenson, um, you know, snow bike guy, big mountain climber, and we're pretty excited to be out here and doing this in Revelstoke, BC. I've been a lot of places riding snowmobiles. I've, I've ridden trails, I've raced, I've done all kinds of things, ridden lots of mountains. But the one place I've never been and have heard so much good stuff about when it comes to mountain terrain is Revelstoke in BC, Canada. Why we've never been here just baffles my mind, um, but we're here now. So we pulled up into the, the unload parking lot um, run by the local snowmobile club here. It's a spot where everybody brings their trucks and trailers and unloads to go up the mountain. And we uh, met up with Randy and Brock, two guys I've never personally met. I know a lot about them from following their, their careers in the industry, um, but I've never met them personally. Great guys, um, equally as excited about doing this, this sport in general, as we are, which is, I mean, that's just an instant bond right there. Good to see you. How's it going? It's going good. good. Welcome to Revelstoke. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for you know, I'm, uh, I'm a Scandinavian descent, so I, uh, I really have a love of snow, my grandparents and my parents as well. And I, uh, I certainly had a, a childhood background playing in the snow and living in the snow and, and they gravitated towards snowmobiles uh, probably about 30 years ago. Bringing me to the mountain is the beautiful terrain, but also cross training support for, uh, for motocross originally. And uh, always looking for that next, next sport to train on with, with sledding always being there. And ended up uh, trying to do the snow bike stuff and got my first snow bike uh, to cross train for motocross. We uh, unloaded all of the uh, new Viper turbos with the uh, MPI kits on them, which we were pretty excited to ride because these sleds make big horsepower at, you know, it doesn't matter what altitude, they're always making horsepower, which is great. So we unloaded the sleds in the parking lot, got geared up, and for day one, it was all about these Vipers. As we rode out of the parking lot, we started in pretty skinny conditions, but it did not take long once we started going up the side of that mountain to get into some really, really beautiful snow conditions, some sun, and man, I can't even describe the awesome scenery as we were riding up the side of this mountain, kind of switchbacking, uh, going up into the backcountry. You're looking back out over uh, the town of Revelstoke, and it's just like, uh, it's amazing. I mean, you got mountains in the background, you got the river that runs through, you got the town, um, you, you just got all this beautiful scenery, and everything is covered in this, you know, just awesome layer of huge, deep snow. The sun was shining, the snow was white. It was just the coolest ride into the mountains I think I've ever had. And it didn't even, it didn't even hold a candle to what was to come when we got up there. Once we broke out into the, into the you know, big bowls and back country up here in the mountains, it was just, it's, it leaves you at a loss for words, really. I mean, there's all kinds of words you can use to make you sound cool, like epic and awesome and stuff, and they just don't do it justice. So right away we drop off the trail and I mean when you're riding in the mountains it's something that I always am amazed at. The people who are locals and who know the spots, they just they take you over this hill through this valley across this one over here up and over and down and I mean I feel like I don't know where north is, I man I'm trying to struggle to find up and these guys are just like follow me over here we're gonna go over this next valley we're gonna go through this and boom you open up into these beautiful meadows and these untouched un untracked spots that are just mint. Well, today we're up, uh, you know, we're in Boulder Mountain in Revelstoke, BC, and we're here today with uh, the Snow Tracks fellas, Luke and AJ. We're going to uh, let them experience Yamaha four-stroke snowmobiles in a mountain environment, the, you know, the 2016 uh, Yamaha Viper MTX with our factory-approved 180 turbo kit. Uh, we feel that we've made a great strides in uh, the chassis and the handling and, and make them really boondocking type snowmobiles, not just sheer hill climbers based on horsepower. So we, uh, we want them to experience that. 
So the real issue for AJ and I coming out to do this, the only concern I think he and I actually had was that we hadn't ridden a snowmobile all year. I haven't swung a leg over a snowmobile at all because there's just no snow at home. So we were a little worried coming out with guys um, who are professional snowmobilers and have had a few days under their belts this year, ride in the mountains all the time. We didn't want to look stupid basically is what it boiled down to. Found some really cool uh, cornices that were that were built up and blown over that we were you know just kind of jumping off and trying to do you know turn downs and stuff like that and and uh, ripping up. We found some nice uphill climbs where we were all as a group you know able to, to climb up and then come down and kind of powder hook and carve coming back down the hill as a group. Lots of, lots of technical stuff, you know, riding in some trees, but there was a, a good variety of both tree riding and then also um, kind of open meadow and, and cornices and stuff that's been blown in. Went out back with, the, with all the vipers and a field of vipers and uh, took them out, out in the back and found some cool off cameras, beautiful tree lines, found some deep powder, you know, um, really showed what these vipers are, are capable and, and still nimble and, and flickable machines and, uh, and had a blast. Snow Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, lightweight performance. We really just wanted to see a variety of terrain while we were here. The, the idea was to just get a great feel for how these Viper MTX turbos handle in all conditions. That's what we wanted. It was awesome riding. These, these Yamaha sleds, the power that an MPI kit adds to a Viper is just insane. It doesn't matter what altitude you're at. Here we're riding maybe six to 7,000 feet. This thing is making that 180, you know, horsepower all the time. Well, the reason I think the Yamaha Viper MTX is such a great sled is the four-stroke technology. We know it's a little heavier. I don't think it scares a lot of people. It's certainly, we've, the new chassis with the new 2016 front end has made it very maneuverable. I think you'll witness that and you'll feel it yourself when you go and ride it because it is something that uh, is very comparable to any of the current two strokes on the market. You know, when four strokes came along, we had the RX1 Mountain and then we had uh, Apex, uh, Apex Mountain and, and Vi uh, Phaser Mountain and Nitro Mountain MTX. So we've had a long history of MTX models and we're really proud of the latest offering in the, in the Viper MTX. Whenever we go to the mountains, this is kind of what we look for. Some really sweet kind of blown in drift to hit with a really nice landing. And this one's one of the best. You can hit it pretty much full speed. And because it's an uphill landing, the, you don't hit very hard when you come down. But there's also a few cool things you can do, kind of get the sled sideways. This is what AJ and I, whenever we come to the mountains, this is what we're hunting for every time. And we found one. Riding with Randy and Brock was super cool. I mean, these guys are these guys are pros. They know what they're doing. They know where they're going, and they can get just about anywhere. I mean, it was it was like it always is in the mountains. It's special riding with guys who are pros because you can watch them do stuff, and they'll give you they'll give you tips and tricks and advice, and you know, say hey, you know, maybe try it like this or do it like this. And it's cool because uh, you know, Randy is is very um, interested in in how you like this sled, you know, what you feel about it, what your input is, what you're, you know, what you're getting back from the snowmobile. And, and we, were, we were all talking as a group many times just about how you have to ride a four stroke a little differently. And most guys, you know, if, if you're riding in a group and, and somebody, uh, somebody says, hey, you know, take my sled out for a spin, th that's, not, that's not a fair shakedown. You gotta get on one of these snowmobiles and ride it for a day, two days, three days. And that's exactly what we were able to do. It, well, I know that the, the Snow Tracks guys have uh, been on snow a lot. I know they've been all over probably the world snowmobiling in different terrains and different environments. So I'm pretty confident they had some skills. So to watch them throw those SR Viper MTXs around like a current two stroke, I was really impressed. You know, if you're going to venture off into the mountains, be it here in Revelstoke or anywhere else in the world, 
you just, the, the most important thing you gotta do is you gotta go with somebody who knows the area. You can't just take off and ride mountains. You know, mountains are, are all unique. Maybe you look at a slope on one mountain in one area and, and you look at it and you say, well, that's, that's gonna be safe and you're right, but that exact same looking slope on another mountain somewhere else is extremely dangerous. You know, it's really important when you're when you're riding in this type of terrain is uh, you, that you have some education when it comes to uh, not only just safety but avalanche education, you know, avalanche uh, knowledge, uh, empowerment, uh, getting your buddies in the classroom as well. So we really encourage uh, as Yamaha and also every manufacturer through ISMA, we support the Canadian Avalanche Centre, which is now called Avalanche Canada, and it's important that we get our customers into the classroom and every dealer. Uh, works with those that customer base and gets them into a classroom to get some avalanche education and you always keep learning from that and a refresher course every two years you know practice 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 and uh, make sure you always empower your friends and your riding buddies to get in that classroom as well with you. I had a great time on these Vipers with the MPI turbo kits I mean honestly it was it was a really really good experience for me to get on a mountain sled with a four stroke and a turbo and have have the time to really give it a good fair shake. With that said, I gotta tell you, I was pretty amped about day two, which was gonna be snow bikes. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Snowmobile in Quebec. Experience a ride you'll never forget. So our day two is gonna be all about snow bikes and we had uh, Brock who was gonna give us like the full, you know, experience on these things. And then we also had a, a fella from uh, Revelstoke um, named Rozzy who uh, was kind enough to hook us up with the brand new 2016 uh, YZ450F bikes with the Yeti 129 kit on it. I, I mean, to say that I was excited would be an understatement, but I was also super nervous because as much as everybody can tell you, this is gonna be so easy. And, and the guys all kept saying, this is easy. You know snow, you know riding snowmobiles, you'll be fine out there. You've ridden dirt bikes in your, in your past and you'll be fine. I just didn't believe them. I gotta tell you, I was, I was intimidated. I mean, looking at, at a snow bike on hard packed snow, you, you just, you're not sure if you're gonna be able to ride this thing. So Rozzy gives us this rundown on the bikes and kind of explains everything and, uh, and then we headed off out the trail for an adventure that we've never had before. They have good sledding backgrounds, so we knew that we'd throw them right into the, the heart of it right away. I gave them a couple quick little tips, and um, as fast as you told them, they were learning it and flying up the trail right off behind you. We get to that first little bit of powder, and my goodness, this is... I, I can't put words to it, and no matter how I tell you, you're probably not gonna believe it, but you should, because these guys told me, this is easy, this is fun, and you're gonna have a blast. This was easy, this was fun, and I had a freaking blast. And the guys kept telling us, when you get in the deep snow, the bike is more stable than any other vehicle you're gonna ride. 100% stable, it, it wants to be in deep snow. And it's like, yeah, but it's still a bike. It's still tall and it's still narrow. It's gonna wanna fall over. It doesn't. And we didn't hold up when we got up to Boulder in Revelstoke, BC. Uh, we definitely threw them off some cool stuff and in a terrain that, uh, you know, it would have been a little difficult on a sled just because of the trees and getting hung up and stuck. And, uh, and they blasted right through it with no problems. I think the best part of this experience and certainly the most useful part in terms of uh, riding the snow bikes was that we got to ride with Brock and Randy and Brock in particular is an exceptionally talented snow bike rider. So riding with them was great because it gave me an opportunity to see what could happen, what could, what could we do, where could we go. I just followed them and, and sure enough anywhere they took us, whether I looked at it and said that's impossible or not, we did it, we got out, everything went well and it was just a fantastic experience. It's super cool to see how the sport is evolved and how there's, there's different brands and different versions. But at the heart of all of what we were riding is the 450 power plant from Yamaha and the 450YZ, uh, which is just a it's, a, it's a work of freaking art. While before it might have been a little unattainable for the average person to go out and ride a snow bike, it's not anymore. If you're here or if you want a place to go to try something new that you're gonna love, Come here and rent a snow bike. Come here and rent a YZ with a Yeti kit on it and take it up in the mountains and give it a try. I guarantee if you're the kind of guy who likes a challenge but also likes to, to just shred in powder, you're gonna love a snow bike. So make sure you got enough money in the bank to buy one when you get home.
it was it was a super fun experience. Honestly, this might be one of the best times I've had in deep snow and riding with great people, great equipment in a really beautiful area. My mind is slightly blown right now because I didn't think that that what is possible on a snow bike can be done and I'm left going home back to Flatland, Ontario where we aren't going to have too much snow yet and I will be thinking about this and remembering this and wishing that I was back up in these mountains in Boulder with uh, with a YZ 450F and and a, a Yeti 129 kit. This was this was just awesome. Snow Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Closed captioning of Snow Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. The Snowmobile Mountain segment is one of the most fiercely contested in the industry. Year after year, manufacturers are scraping to find even minute improvements in flotation and handling. Sometimes they find something more substantial though, something that takes their sled to a different level. And that's exactly how it happened to Arctic Cat with their M8000 in 2016. It sees some significant changes that will take you farther more easily than ever before. The most significant is the all new front suspension called Arctic Mountain Suspension or AMS with a completely redesigned spindle Arctic refers to as the bone and a new 34 to 38.5 inch adjustable ski stance. The 8000 I have here is a limited model, but all M series get the new front end. The bone spindle is meant to do two very important things. First, its shape is specifically designed to get the spindle out of the snow while the sled is on its side during a side hill. If you look at a 2015 M model from the front, it becomes pretty obvious why this was important. That race-inspired spindle sticks way out past the bodywork, and it's not hard to imagine how it would drag in the snow when carving or side hilling. The bone spindle is sculpted, so when combined with the ski's stance adjusted to its minimum, almost all of it fits within the perimeter of the bodywork, meaning when the sled is on its side, the body should drag before the spindle does. The second change to the M series front end is geometrical. The caster angle of the spindle has been increased from 17 to 27 degrees, which causes the skis to tilt slightly when they're turned. We call this camber, and the idea is that it better aligns the ski with whatever hill you're side hilling against. The results of these two changes, along with the new A-arms they require, are dramatic. Getting the eminent side requires drastically reduced effort, as does keeping it there. Furthermore, while it's on its side, it's far more controllable and easy to handle. The 2.5 pound weight savings of this setup is nice, but pale in comparison to the improvement it makes in handling. Of course, the next big improvement to the M series this season is the addition of a three inch track. If you've never ridden a mountain sled with this size of a lug, you can't possibly appreciate what this type of traction is like. Even in the 153 inch length we have here, traction is unbelievable. Taking off from a dead stop on the side of a hill requires nothing more than a flick of the trigger and a firm grip on the bars. Places and situations that would leave you trenched to China in a heartbeat now present little or no challenge at all. At the heart of the M8000 is Articat's tried and true 800cc twin. It has more than enough horsepower to spin that monster 3 inch track, but it's got a bit of a high strung power band that requires you to run it with tons of throttle all the time which is great when you're slaying the powder or ripping through the trees like Rob Kincaid, but for guys like me who prefer to pick their way along when it's tight, it can be difficult to precisely modulate the throttle. An 800 C-Tech 2 with more torquey bottom end would be a very welcome addition to a chassis that is the best it's ever been. That beefy three inch powder claw track is wrapped around an updated skid frame Arctic Cat is referring to as the float action. New rails and overall new rear suspension geometry increase travel, improve the ride, and most importantly, maintain a constant track tension. A Fox Float 3 Evol front track shock now complements the Float 3 Evol R rear track shock on limited models. When you increase traction the way a 153 by three inch lug track does, there will no doubt be an increase on driveline components, including the belt and the drive chain. Arctic Cat addressed both of these potential problem areas by updating the chain case with a Borg Warner chain and sprocket assembly that is more durable and allows for 20% less stretch. 
a brand new set of team clutches designed in conjunction with Articat boasts a laundry list of features aimed directly at increasing durability and adjustability. In the primary, a steel spider, larger spider bearings, and an increase in spider button contact area alleviate some of the issues seen on last season's high horsepower units. The built-on shaft secondary, or BOSS, is designed so the two halves of the clutch are assembled directly on the jack shaft. This cuts down on parts and weight and makes belt adjustment super easy. Unfortunately, there's only enough time in a single test ride to go over the major changes Arctic has made to their M series in 2016. But these changes are complemented by a whole host of smaller updates that make 2016 the best year Arctic Cat has ever had for the M series. It's lighter, has excellent rider ergonomics, improved front end geometry, including a low profile spindle and an excellent 800 motor. All of this is topped with a set of the industry's best air shocks and a three inch track. The 2016 Arctic Cat M8000 Limited can and will take you farther than you've ever thought possible. The question is, are you brave enough to go? Snow Tracks has been sponsored by Polaris terrain domination arctic cat share our passion and by ontario highlands come wander If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, like it and then subscribe to our page for more great content from Snowtracks TV.